The Spoken Word Library presents I Trained in Moscow for Black Revolution, a lecture by Leonard Patterson. Mr. Patterson joined the Communist Party in Philadelphia in 1928. He rose rapidly through the ranks, went to Moscow for advanced training along with such well-known party officials as Steve Nelson, Benjamin Gitlow, and Claude Lightfoot. In fact, while in Russia, he was the roommate of Gus Hall, later to become head of the Communist Party USA. Leonard Patterson was no small-time operator within the movement. He was a member of the National Committee and National Bureau of the Young Communist League, a member of the Central Committee of the Negro Commission, and chairman of the International Negro Commission of the Communist Internationale. He organized and led picket lines, strikes, goon squads, and riots, all in accordance with orders from party headquarters. He was an active and effective communist propagandist, not only in the United States, but also in Russia and Germany as well. Mr. Patterson left the Communist Party when he finally realized it wasn't honestly interested in helping Negroes, that it was just using him and his people as cannon fodder to create hatred and violence, and that the goal of the Communist movement was the enslavement of all peoples. I am Leonard Patterson. When I was a young man, only 23 years old, I joined the Communist Party. I was a member of the National Executive Committee of the American Young Communist League. In 1930, I was the official communist candidate for election to New York State Assembly. I knew Gus Hall and other top-ranking American communists very well because I trained with them at the Lenin University in Moscow. I joined the party because I honestly thought the communists were trying to help American Negroes. I broke away from the party when it became clear to me what the communists were really up to was to use the Negro people in this country in a violent and bloody revolution aimed at the establishment of the American Soviet dictatorship. It was that simple, and it is still that simple today. Make no mistake about it. What is happening in the United States right now under the banner of civil rights is exactly what has happened in China, in Cuba, in Algeria, and many other places around the world. When I was studying communist technology in Moscow, my instructors emphasized the importance of using honest grievances and popular slogans. And a smoke screen to cover up the true nature of the revolution. We were taught how to use propaganda and arouse the emotion of the masses. We learned how to set one group against the other and to make them hate each other. We learned the necessity of having martyrs. And we were even told how to create our own martyrs if they did not imagine the result from the atmosphere of hatred. We were taught the importance of getting large masses of people into the street for marches and demonstrations. And finally, we were instructed in ways to pick off riots and make them spread and to keep them going. When I returned to the United States, I was immediately given practical training. I participated in so-called nonviolent demonstrations that were deliberately calculated to irritate white people and to violence against us. I personally was in charge of organizing a march on Washington to dramatize the Scottsboro Boys case. In New York about 1935, a Negro boy was reported killed by the owner of a store while in the act of stealing some merchandise. Communist Party headquarters decided to make a march out of the boy. So we went right to work, putting out handbills and holding open the air meetings. In less than a half hour after we started, there was a race ride on 125th Street, complete with smashing wonders of white storekeepers, looting and all the rest. I'm not speaking of things I read about, these are things I personally participated in. Yes. We were taught how to use propaganda. 